Hey everybody, welcome to Cloudy Woodworks. My name is Jeff and today we're going over a project that I just finished up a few hours ago and that would be, wait for it, Thor's Hammer! Or a wooden mallet, you know, same difference. Um, yeah, this was actually, I almost dropped it. This is actually a pretty awesome uh, build. I just finished up a couple hours ago, took it to my local woodworkers guild meeting, my first time ever to that. Um, got some feedback, some suggestions, and even got some compliments from the guys there. Um, this is made from, real quick, some walnut and some oak, and then walnut handle. Finished off with boiled linseed oil, no stain, no nothing. Uh, sanded down, obviously, but finished off with some boiled linseed oil. And yeah, it's pretty great. There's some flaws in it, some things that uh, I would... I, side note, I want to actually say a uh, couple things. First, uh, Steve McKenna is the guy who got me this uh, maple and got me the oak. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. He's got his own woodworking channel. Uh, I think it's called Woodworking with Kids. It's fantastic. You should go check it out. Um, and yeah, so anyway, I made it out of the walnut and smoke and um, some flaws in it. I actually made this. I, was, I started out making this as a gift for a fellow YouTuber, somebody who has no clue who I am, but uh, has inspired me in his videos and has done a great job and has really given back to the YouTube and the YouTube community and basically give back to the uh, vlogging community and a guy named Casey Neistat and uh, I was going to send this to him. Still trying to decide. I probably will still send it to him but um, I might try and perfect it. So I might try and make another one. Maybe I'll send him that one too. These will be my first two ever mounts and they're leaving my shop. A um, couple things I would change about it. Head's a little too big for my taste. I'd probably pare it down something. You know make it a little bit smaller uh, or change kind of the shape of it. Uh, the handle uh, maybe someone with uh, larger hands than mine would uh, appreciate this handle, but for me the handle's a little big. Uh, I've used it with one of my chisels just to give it a shot. Honestly, it looks great. Uh, there's a few little flaws here and there, but uh, I've always been told and I've always believed that flaws or mistakes uh, are just opportunities to learn. So they're not bad, they're just a new chance for you to learn something new. So I did, I learned something new here. And uh, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how it came out. So uh, if you have any comments, you have any suggestions, you have any criticisms, you can comment below. Uh, but here, check out the video of the build. So I initially started with an oak handle that matched the uh, center portion of the handle head, but quickly noticed that it was too thick, didn't match up perfectly. So instead of cutting it down on my table saw, which is just a homemade table saw with a circular saw, and it causes some problems with hardwoods kind of uh, hangs up so I used a walnut handle. Here I am just finding the center point of this piece of oak and I'm going to use my speed square to scribe a line and take it over to the miter saw. Like I said my table saw kind of hangs up and causes some burn marks on harder woods like oak and like walnut so uh, I'm using my circular saw to do this cut and we'll do some other cuts with it as well. It works great and it's perfect for the job. Right here I'm doing a little dry fit just to see how everything lines up and here I decided to change the handle that goes into the head. I wanted to do a tenon so I took it over to my table saw and here I'm just lining up the fence with a drywall T-square and some clamps and taking it to the table saw. I ran into um, a little bit of a problem. I kind of the blade hung up on this harder wood and I also cut a little too far down for the tenon. Uh, the top was perfect, it lined up perfectly, but uh, I didn't account for the blade on the bottom piece, the piece that faces down, um, cutting further than the top, so I made a mistake. But that was easily fixable, just had to extend the tenon further down, which shortened the handle itself on the bottom, but this worked well. I scribed line and found the center point where the handle needed to go on the piece of walnut and I'm just kind of testing it up and using a baby bot with some glue up. Great product. Only problem is the rubber piece that holds the cap on tends to break really easily so uh, I've lost a couple of them already. And here I'm just doing a glue up and some testing. want to make sure that the tenon fits perfectly in there and there it is a nice snug fit so that the tension or friction will be enough. Here's a little clamp up. We've got the head clamped up and once this is dry we'll start doing all the um, trimming and squaring it up and finishing up. You can see I did a dry fit here, a little friction fit to see how it works. Um, worked great so now we're going to take it over to the miter saw and clean up the edges. You can see I did the top and bottom already. 
Now I just need to square up and flatten the edges and I'm going to do that with just a flush cut on my miter saw and honestly it worked great. Nice clean flat edges on all sides. So I had a little bit of um, discrepancy between the two sides of the tenon and uh, there was a slight gap and so I'm using my chisel to clean that out and then just putting as much glue as humanly possible on the tenon. Um, you can never have enough glue. You can deal with squeeze out and clean that up but you can never put more glue in an already glued joint. It just doesn't work. So the more the better here in this case. You can see there's some uh, glue squeeze out here on the head of the mallet and so a little quick tip is to use a fast food straw and clean out all the squeeze out in the crevices and corners and it works great. Now to final sanding, I uh, rounded some of the edges, chamfered it a little bit, and flattened everything out, smoothed it out, got it ready for some boiled linseed oil, and here's the finished product. No stain, uh, it is just boiled linseed oil on the entire thing, and uh, it looks beautiful. Works great, and really happy with the project. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, I appreciate any feedback, any comments you have for me. Thanks.